the, some of the prime motive when people, when you hear them talking about their experience, they have not felt a life like that in so long. Mm -hmm. They haven't felt that kind of attention. They haven't felt so vibrating, so vital. They're describing passion or the erotic, but they're describing aliveness. And what they're describing is that something had died inside of them. But mm -hmm. it's not always because of the, the partner's fault. Sometimes it's life. It's, um, sometimes it's the stage of their life. I think that the best way I can say it is that sometimes it isn't another person that we are looking for, but another self. Mm -hmm. And it isn't our partner that we're trying to leave, but who we have become. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the question is, is, what happened to you? Why did you become like that? How did you allow this to happen? What happened that you either disconnected from these parts of you or that you never even knew existed? Mm -hmm. Where are you at at this point in your life? Um, I have often noticed that a, a number of affairs take place on the heels of loss in people's lives. A friend that died too soon mm. or um, a parent that dies or bad news at a doctor, but something that puts mortality in front of you and life is short. Mm -hmm. And then People say, is this it? Is this is my life? Is this going to be it for the rest, you know, for the next 20, 30 years? And that sense of life is short. I want to feel alive again, I think is a theme that you will often hear when you listen to what is it that you just found in that experience. 